Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On today's show, we're going to learn how to make Belgian waffles. Now, this is a classic recipe that has a unique way of beating the eggs that results in a light and fluffy waffle. So let's get started. Okay, our first step is to mix the dry ingredients. So we're going to take a large mixing bowl and we are going to measure out one and one third cup of flour and I use it by the scoop and swipe method. You swipe off the top so you make sure you get exactly one cup of flour. So that's one cup and then we're going to put in a third of a cup and that's our flour. We're also going to be putting in four teaspoons of baking powder. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Scoop it and level it off. This baking powder, you can just level it off on the side of the jar. That makes it easy. So we want four teaspoons of baking powder. And we're also going to use a half a teaspoon of salt. And this is actually a quarter teaspoon, so I'm going to put in two of those to make a half a teaspoon. And we're just going to stir to combine the dry ingredients and we will be ready for our wet ingredients. So our first step in our wet ingredients is to separate our eggs. So we are going to put our egg whites in this bowl very carefully. We're going to separate. Make sure you don't get any shell in there. Almost got a little shell in there. And we're going to do the second egg. Okay. And clean up my hands a little bit. Then we are going to beat these eggs until they are really light and fluffy. And you can do this with a hand mixer. I happen to have this little immersion, blend, immersion blender that has this whisk attachment. And normally I use a hand mixer, but since I bought this and I don't use it that often, I figured I might give it a little test. So this thing is pretty easy. It actually has a detachable thing so you can throw this in the dishwasher. So we will just fire this up. And this takes just a couple minutes. You want to keep mixing until you get soft peaks. you want it at. You want it to look like it gets a little peak that doesn't really fall over. You don't want to take these too far because then they'll break. But if you just sort of have them at the soft peak stage, they will be perfect. Okay, so now we are going to take one and three quarters cup of milk and we're going to add in our two egg yolks. We're also going to add, for a little flavor, a little bit of vanilla. And make sure you add pure vanilla. Don't add um, imitation. Because pure vanilla is going to give you that really great vanilla taste that we all love. And we also want to put in one stick of melted butter into our milk mixture. And because it's melted, when you put it in, it's going to clump a little bit. You're going to get some, because as soon as it hits the cold milk, it's going to turn back into butter again. So you will get some like 
butter crystal. Just go ahead and stir this together and then we're going to combine this with our dry ingredients. Okay, so now we're going to combine our wet and dry ingredients. One of the things I forgot to do earlier with the dry ingredients is we need to sweeten this up a little bit. So I am going to put two teaspoons of sugar in our dry ingredients just so we have a little bit of sweetness in our waffles. And I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir. So we have all our dry ingredients ready for our wet ingredients. So this is our milk mixture, and we're gonna go ahead and add that in to our dry ingredients. And we're going to stir this and mix it till it's pretty well mixed. And it's gonna be a little lumpy, that's okay, because you don't want it to be over mixed. Okay, so once you have your wet ingredients in here, you're always going to want to check your consistency. And I think maybe we should add just a tiny bit more flour. Um, sometimes it depends on, you know, the um, how dry your flour is or the humidity in the room. You have to adjust it a little bit. So you get a nice thick batter like this so it will spoon well into your waffle iron. Okay, so now we are going to take our egg whites and we are going to go ahead, we've beaten these to a soft peat stage, and we're going to go ahead and add those back in to our batter here. And what I want you to do is fold these really gently. So this is a, the whisk is a little rough, so we're just going to take a a spatula like this and we're just going to fold these in and the reason you fold them in is if you stir it too too much you're just going to flatten the egg whites that you spent all this time make the, all this time foaming so we really want to be gentle when we put these in so we're going to fold that and to fold it you just take your um your spatula here and you just cut through the middle and you fold up and you lift and you like gently roll it and what that's going to do is it's going to mix those egg whites in but it's going to leave them nice and fluffy we're not going to flatten them out and defeat the whole purpose of beating those egg whites so you just want to slowly fold those in Make sure you get it all the way down to the bottom so the egg whites get all mixed in. And it's going to keep, see how nice and light the batter looks? It stays fluffy if you don't flatten out those egg whites. And what this does is it's going to give us a really nice fluffy waffle. Okay, so now we're going to prepare our waffle maker. And it just beeps so it's nice and ready. Um, this waffle maker is a little bit overkill. If you, all you really need is a simple waffle maker. This thing is like a waffle maker on steroids, right? It is actually, it flips and it's a double. So you can do one waffle, flip it and do a second waffle and cook them all together. But you really don't need one that's this fancy. You really just need a basic waffle iron. Um, my idea about the waffle iron flipping, I know it's sort of a little novelty thing right now for waffle makers to flip. I don't really see that it adds that much benefit. If your waffles are properly leavened, they will rise to the top and actually the top will keep them from rising. So you really don't need to flip it. I guess the idea of flipping it is so the batter goes all the way into the crevices of both sides of them. But if you have the proper leveling and your um, waffles are rising, you really don't need that. So with this waffle maker, we're going to go ahead and open it. And we need to grease it a little bit. It is nonstick, but we need to grease it a little bit so the waffles don't stick. I don't recommend using the spray um, Pam or stuff like that because when it comes in lawn steak, it just leaves a sticky residue that you can't get off. 
So just use a little bit of regular canola or vegetable oil and I just rub it in with a little brush. This is silicone so it's not going to burn it or damage the brush in any way. And just go ahead and spread it on. It's a little warm and now our waffle maker is ready to go. Okay, so now we're ready to fill our waffle maker. It's nice and warm. This waffle maker, actually, you set it by the amount of time. A medium waffle is three and a half minutes. Go ahead and whatever your waffle maker um, has for a dial, usually it just dials and set from light to dark. So however you like it, go ahead and set it to those settings. So we are going to take our batter and we're going to go ahead and put the batter in the waffle maker. This looks really good. It's going to be a nice, big, fluffy waffle. And go ahead and close it down. If you have a flipper, wait a second and then go ahead and give her a little flip. You might have some batter come out, but that's okay. And as soon as this is done, we're going to have a nice hot waffle. This is going to be great. is nice and golden brown it's time to take it out so we're gonna go ahead and lift this up and it looks really good I think we're gonna have a really nice breakfast okay so now our waffle is out of the waffle iron and we're gonna put a nice helping of butter on the top you can pretty much put anything you like fruit whipped cream. I like my waffle with a little bit of butter and very simple just covered in a little bit of pure maple syrup. Perfect. Now let's taste. Oh gosh, this looks so good. This is what you call something to wake up to in the morning, right? Mmm, mmm. It's delicious. It is delicious. This recipe will make two or three of these waffles this size. If you have a smaller waffle iron, it'll probably make more. So. I suggest making a double or triple batch and saving some for later. If you would like this recipe, please visit my website, amylearnstocook.com. Leave me a comment down below and a like if you like this recipe.